Meghan Markle could give up running for president for fears red tape that her past will be exposed. A political run by Meghan Markle has been ruled out as a wasted use by royally obsessed podcast hosts Roberta Fiorito and Rachel Bowie. The royal watchers have argued that the Duchess and Prince Harry could find the red tape that comes with running for office gets in the way of the couple's many projects and media appearances. Meghan has been the subject of fierce speculation over a future political career in the United States. Ms. Bowie asked her co-host, would they ever run for office? Do you think so? I know this always comes up. I don't think so, replied Ms. Fiorito. I think that would be like a wasted use. Because they would have so much red tape all the time for the things they could do. It would be like, I don't think it would be, she continued. But I don't know, I mean Vanity Fair has a whole article about it from the end of 2020. There is a lot of chatter about it always. T comes as the Duchess's future ambitions were discussed by royal commentators Kristen Meinzer and Tiwa Adebayo for a new Channel 5 documentary. On where Meghan may go next, Miss Meinzer hinted the Duchess may be already be eyeing up a political run using her sizable personal brand. Ms. Adebayo told the Channel 5 documentary, when it comes to her royal connections, I do think that we are already seeing that Meghan and Harry are almost bigger than the royal brand. Miss Meinzer added, we obviously know she has the Archul Foundation, and they are trying to do good work through that. But will she eventually also tip the top into politics? They were left off Barack Obama's birthday party guest list earlier this month, a move which the royals won't get over, royal expert Angela Levin has claimed. Camilla Tomini, associate editor of The Telegraph, has claimed the Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey has not gone down well with the former U.S. president and first lady who always put family first. The host Mike Graham said, Of course we know they don't really have any friends and the only friends they do have or that they count as friends are all the people who got invited to Barack Obama's 60th birthday party. But they didn't. Ms. Levin added, That's right. I'm sure they haven't got over that and won't for many years. It comes as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are set to have a busy period after the arrival of their second child as the Sussexes launch content for their Netflix and Spotify projects. Harry and Meghan signed multi-million dollar contracts with Netflix and Spotify to create content for the platforms after leaving the royal family in March 2020. Royal commentator Omid Scobie has claimed after months of leave for the royal couple, they are getting ready for a busy period. He said royal fans will see why their move to the U.S. was so important to them. Speaking to Good Morning America, Mr. Scobie said, one of the lessons learned by the couple was it's okay to slow down. We saw them jump from one big project to the next especially when they moved over to the U.S. but they're on parental leave at the moment, enjoying that important family time from home. But we are about to enter a very busy period for the couple when they do return to work. I think one of the biggest things that have changed since the original Finding Freedom came out is that Harry and Meghan have their own voices now. They can tell their stories as and when they want, how they want, and as we've heard Harry plans to release his memoir next autumn. I'm sure we will get an even deeper insight into certain aspects of his life that only he knows. What was so important about writing Finding Freedom in the first place was being able to tell the story of two individuals who at the time weren't able to tell their story. His comments come after Harry made a surprise guest appearance at the GQ Awards on Wednesday night. The scientists who helped develop the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine have praised the Duke of Sussex's comments urging governments to inoculate poorer countries, 